Are you confused about health care? Well, these days, who isn't? Clearly, there's a lot of concern and controversy out there over the sweeping new health care reforms. In fact, the new law is more than 1,700 pages long. Not exactly light reading. And it's no wonder so many people are really worried about whether they'll be able to be covered and how much health care will soon cost them. Take a look at this. I'm really concerned about the cost of health care. What's going to be covered, what's not going to be covered, and just the skyrocketing cost of the whole deal. There will not be enough doctors to take care of everybody that uh, in this country. We're going to lose doctors because the government's going to come in and tell the doctors how many patients they have to see daily. And the doctors are working hard right now. They cannot take hardly any new patients. My own doctor said he can't take any more patients. So where are all these doctors going to come from? You know, more out of your pocket. And you're getting less and less. I'm concerned that the people that really need it won't have it. One of my main concerns, I think, is the availability of the doctors and, um, you know, are we going to be all get the health care when we need it and be able to go to, you know, our doctors on a timely basis? And if um, younger people will be going into the medical field knowing the limitations that doctors will be having in the future. I'm worried about uh, the amount of work. Nurses are already uh, really busy all the time. They have a way too strong of workload and it really shows in patient care that it's it's suffering. Well, I actually just got my health insurance bill in the mail and I was very upset because I just spent 20 hours six months ago changing it to something I could actually afford. And they just revamped it six months later back to what I was paying before for less coverage. Being a young professional, affordability. It's really hard because you're trying to save money and put it away, but then, you know, what happens if I get sick? Do I pay my rent or do I pay for a cavity? And there you go. The health care issue is complicated, but there are things you can do to reduce costs, put more cash in your pockets, and set your mind at ease. Today, we've brought in an expert to help us cut through the complexities. Joining us now is Becky Seafeld from HSA Bank. Welcome to the show, Becky. Well, it's great to be here. Now, first of all, let's get to what people are concerned about. What suggestions do you have for reducing health care costs? I would say definitely look into and see if you're eligible for a health savings account, or HSA for short. An HSA is a tax-exempt account that allows you to build funds to pay for medical expenses. On top of that, you have more affordable health insurance premiums. Okay, sounds good so far. So tell me some more details on what an HSA is. Well, it's all about your money. Um, with an HSA, it's, it's all about savings, and it's in the name. Um, this is the best savings account that exists. It's the only account that you're never taxed on. Wow. The funds go into the account on a pre-tax basis, then the funds roll over year after year and continue to grow, and then even when you take out the money, it remains tax-free. So you have a medical expense, you use that money, it's never taxed? It's never taxed. Wow. Okay, so there are still some questions. It's a pretty complicated issue. We actually got some questions from viewers. Here's our first one. Let's take a look. How do I qualify for a health savings account? Okay, that's a key question, so what's the answer? To qualify for a health savings account, you're going to need a high deductible health plan, or HDHP, and you can't be covered by any other non-qualifying insurance. So what's a high deductible health plan? A high deductible health plan is a health insurance plan that has a deductible of at least $1,100 for individuals or $2,200 for family coverage. Typically, a high deductible plan is also going to have cheaper premiums than other health insurance plans. Oh, okay, so it's a great way to save your money. Yes, and the savings that you get from your premiums, you can then reinvest it in your HSA and help to build up funds for medical expenses. And then if by chance your son or daughter does break their their arm or leg, you have all that money built up to help pay for that medical expense. What about for things like chronic illnesses? People with chronic illnesses can also benefit from an HSA because it has those set out-of-pocket limits that also include the money that they're going to spend on prescription drugs. So really anyone can save with an HSA. Oh, okay. Well, we have another viewer question, so let's get that answer from you. Here's the question. What's covered under my HSA? Are things like dental covered? Okay, another great question. Well, any necessary medical expense is going to be able to be taken out of the HSA, but there's also other things that you can cover that aren't going to be covered by your health plan that you can use your HSA for, okay. such as dental, vision, contact lenses, chiropractic visits. Oh, things like that. Now, what's not covered? 
Well, things that aren't going to be covered are things like plastic surgery, vitamins, exercise equipment. Oh, so normal things that you would think a health care coverage or health care plan wouldn't cover. Right. Okay, we have time for one more viewer question. Let's take a look. So what do I do if I need to get my money out for something that's non-medical? Great question. I'm sure a lot of people want to know the answer to that. What's the answer? With an HSA, the money is yours. And you can take the money out in any way at any time for any reason. However, if you do take it out for a non-qualified medical expense, you will be required to pay taxes and an additional penalty. Ah, uh, okay. But since this is such a great savings vehicle, there are some limitations on how much you can contribute each year. Um, for an individual, you can only contribute $3,050, and those for, with family coverage can contribute $6,150. There's also an additional catch-up contribution for those 55 and older. Okay, so it keeps you from putting your entire paycheck in there. Right. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. You've really cleared up a lot of questions for us this morning. Well, it's been great to be here. Now, if you viewers at home have more questions to find out answers to your questions about health savings accounts, you can visit hsabank.com.